Let me go ahead and place my iPhone 12 Pro Max here. Now this should charge at 15 watts when it's charging. So you'll see I'm already fairly close to fully charged, but it should hold that no problem. Then we can take the AirPods Pro here and then stick them in the middle so it kind of helps align it. You get a little light there. And then let me take off my Apple Watch and see if it can hold it because this is the Titanium Edition Apple Watch with a Nomad Titanium Band. It's kind of heavy but it looks like it's holding it just fine. So now we're charging all three at once without any problem whatsoever. And it seems like it's working. Okay. Now, if you're using a case on your iPhone, whether that be a MagSafe case or not, we'll try it without MagSafe in just a moment, but this is a MagSafe case from Apple leather case. It holds it just fine. And you can see it's charging. Now I've removed the Apple case. Let's go ahead and put on just a third party thin plastic case that we have here and see if it holds. So it holds not as well. It's definitely not as secure, but it will charge. So you can definitely feel there's not as much of a grip on it as there would be if it had the MagSafe case, for example. So you've got magnets in there holding it. It makes it extra strong. So I guess I'd be used be aware that you want to be using something that's MagSafe with the MagSafe charger because it might fall off. Now this is 15 Watts, like I said, so it should charge at full speed for wireless chargers. And then it's nice just to have a single cable to plug it in with. So nothing else, it will charge your Apple watch. You'll see everything's charging, including my AirPods. Now, in addition to using this in portrait mode like this and just charging your phone, you can also put it in landscape and watch a video. So you can see here's one of my videos on different iPhones and things you could put it in landscape mode, watch it like this. And they've thought this out to give you enough space between the Apple watch and the iPhone, even if it has a MagSafe case on it with the 12 pro max to fit. So you can watch that however you'd like, and then go back to your home screen, go to bed, whatever you'd like, and you'll be good to go. So it's nice that you've got that option and it will continue to charge no matter what orientation it's in. So it works really nice that way. And then when you want, you just take it off and go ahead. It did leave a little bit of a ring here as well. So just in the time using it, it left a ring. This will just wipe off, but there is a little ring here from using it. So I think this is a really nice alternative to what Apple offers with the MagSafe Duo. That's more of a travel charger. This is really nice for a desk or a bedside stand where you just have something where you can just put it down, charge it at night. And you'll see when I remove this, it doesn't move the whole stand away. So when I pull the phone off it, it's not taking the stand with it. So it does move a little bit when I place it there, but it's not taking the stand as I pull that off, like it does with the MagSafe Duo, for example. And so if you want to charge your AirPods Max along with your Apple Watch or maybe just regular AirPods,